Hello everyone, this is Pookie Codes and welcome back to part 2 of Python Full Course and today we're going to look at if statements. So let's get started. Alright, we're going to look at if statements. So basically an if statement is that you have to write the keyword if and then you have to write some statement here. And then you have to make sure you put a colon and then you have to press an enter and when you do the enter you have to make sure that you indent so you can indent using the tab character and that will work and then you can write code so what does this look like in practice i can say if true then print this is true so as you can see there's if there is a statement and then a colon and then I have to make sure that the statement next are indented with the tab character. So when I run it, this is true. If I put something that is false, and then if I say if false, I say this, then you see that the code here is not executed. Notice that as long as you keep the same indent, you can the code that is going to run are going to be grouped together. So I can say print, is this also true? And then you'll see that nothing is going to run when it's false. And then if I say true, you'll see they're both going to run. And notice how I can do outside of the if, outside of if. And so as you can see, this is run, this runs when it's true, but it also runs when it is false. So as you can see, this is not influenced by the if statement. So in summary, a if statement is that you put if, and then you put a condition, so true or false, and then you have to say a colon, and then you indent, and in that indent, you write the code you want. So some print statements for now. Notice how you don't always need to just write true or false, you can do other stuff. So for example, here on this side, it's called the console, and I can test some expressions. So I can say 1 plus 1 is 2, but I can also test equality. So I can say 1 plus 1, is it equal to 2? And when I want to say if it's equal, I have to put 2 equals. That's just how it's made. So 1 plus 1 equal equal 2, and as you can see, it gives me true. So instead of putting true in the, for, in the if, I can put 1 plus 1 equal 2 and then you'll see it gives me this is true and is this also true so 1 plus 1 equal equal 2 and if I change it to is it equal to 3 you'll see that I get nothing because it is false so this is very nice so now we're going to look at the elif and elif is a statement that's going to be run when everything above the if statements and the elder elif statements are false. So I can say elif 2 plus 2 elif true print elif is true. And then if I run it, you'll see elif is true. Since the first one is false, it's going to look at the next one and then it will see the else if and then it will say, okay, this is true. So it will run it. If I say false, notice how it gives me nothing. I can also say another elif, so if I said elif true, print I'm the second elif. And then you'll see that it's going to be executed because everything above is false. But if something above is true, so for example here I change it to true, or to 2 plus 2 equal to 4, you'll see that it gives me elif is true. So it's only going to execute one of the statements. So one of the if, elif, or the next thing we're going to look at, which is the else statement. And the else statement is a statement that you put after if, elif, elif, and elifs. And it's at the end of a chunk of if. So I can now say else, and this does not require anything here. So it's just else, colon, and then indent, and you can say print, nothing is true above me. And then you'll see uh, it's not going to execute, but if I change this to a false statement, 
and also this to a false statement, you'll see nothing is true above me. Notice how you cannot put multiple else, so you cannot have else in another else. Like you can see REPL is already complaining there's an else after, and as you can see, it doesn't give good stuff. So as you can see, this is an error. And then it crashes REPL, but it, so you should never ever do this. Don't put else and another else. Ha notice how you can also not put another elif. Elif true. So this, this is an error. You cannot do this. As you can see, it is red. So after an else, you cannot put another elif or an else. However, if you do put an if statement, this will work. If true, print, hey, hey, I am true. And then you'll see it does run. That's strange. Why? And the reason why is that when you start another statement with if, it means that you're starting a whole new chunk of if. So this is like this was one if chunk and this was another if chunk. So the two of them are completely independent. So the, it here, it doesn't care whether you went to this elif or you went to this else or this elif or this if, it absolutely doesn't care. It just cares that when the program is here, it's going to evaluate this if chunk. And I can also say elif true print um, the elif. And then I can say change to false. And you'll see um, the elif is run. So this was pretty nice. Also, you can put if statements inside of if. So I can have this, I can just tab it, and then this will be part of this else statement. So it's going to run. So when I run it, it's going to say nothing is true above me and in the elif. And why is that? This is because this is false, and this is false, and this is false. So it's running this, so it prints nothing is true above me, and then it sees an if statement, so it says, oh, this is false, so I'm not going to do this, and then it sees the true, so elif true, so it's going to execute this. So this gives me print nothing is true above me, and print I'm the elif. If I change it to a true statement here, you'll see that I get if is true and I also don't get anything else. So notice the difference between when it's tabbed and not tabbed. So I don't tab it anymore. You'll see that it appears. I tab it again. You'll see that it disappears. Why? Because the if chunk here is now part of the else statement. And since the else statement is never, never, uh, is not going to be run, the if chunk is also not going to be run. But when you de end then when you put it at the left, 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 since it is a brand new if chunk, it is going to be executed. And so this was all about if statements, elifs, and else. So if you like this content, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And in the next video, we're going to look at variables in Python. So stay tuned.